Mein heutiger Gast ist, nach meiner bescheidenen Meinung, eine der großartigsten Persönlichkeiten im internationalen Musikgeschäft. Das ist die aktuelle CD, schon eine Weile auf dem Markt. Vespertein. Wir hören gleich Cocoon daraus live bei uns. Herzlich willkommen, Björk! enjoyed very much to have you with us tonight because I know you for many many years of course only videos and and the uh, movie and your music and I really like very much what you do and uh, you've been to Hamburg yesterday mm -hmm. yes and you came by train to Cologne mm -hmm. I, I was surprised at such a big star like you why don't you go by plane um, the air pressure um, forces the molecules to go tiny aha I see. So this has an uh, environmental reason why do you don't like um, to go on planes? Um, well, it's just discomfort. So it takes longer to recover. So you, you, you find you arrive more relaxed when you, when you go by train? Mm -hmm. Yes. It was a metropolitan. Uh, the train, the name of the train. Is it, is it right? I'm not sure. Or did you come on an ordinary regio train? No. <laughs> You know, the, the Metropolitan is very comfortable. Okay. And it, it, were people allowed to use uh, cell phones on the train? I'm not sure, but I did notice the comfort. Yes. Are you served? Uh, are you being served on, on the place? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, we don't have trains in Iceland. You don't have trains in Iceland? No. I think one person tried to make train tracks. Yes. Like 100 years ago. And I think he managed to get a few meters out of the city. Yes. And then he decided it was not so good idea. <laughs> But he realized it very soon. Yeah. Yes. Uh, how do how do people travel? I mean, if you don't have trains, uh, for example, younger people who don't uh, drive cars, or how do they travel in Iceland? Oh, young people they drive cars. What? They have jeeps. It's the most common vehicle there is. Yes. Uh, Jeeps uh, with four wheel drive. Ah, you need it in Iceland. Yeah, it's the biggest hobby. We don't have so much things like um, like golf yes. and squash and stamp collecting. You're lucky people. <laughs> yeah. You're and lucky butterfly, people. Butterfly collecting. Yes. So you're lucky. You're lucky. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, people go on the weekends and they drive into the unknown. Yeah. And they go over uh, glaciers and and they might. Uh, fall into uh, cracks yes. and die and then they many together and then one jeep has to people in the one jeep have to rescue the other people in the other jeep <laughs> and then they come back and they have very good stories to tell <laughs> very sympathetic and everything without alcohol yes wow <laughs> yeah. where, where do you live i live in the capital and you live but you live in iceland you don't live in new york or Well, I do. I go there now about once a month to Iceland. Yes. So yeah, I I, I have had the same uh, same uh, flat there. Yes. F uh, for like 15 years uh -huh. by, by the harbor where the fishing boats are. Uh, there are still fishing boats, not only for the tourists. People still do fishing there. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. You have a very pretty, and nice dress. Oh, thank you. Is this the correct order you wear it? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people wonder how you really are. Uh, because you're kind of uh, magic and there's something mystic uh, around you. Are you cool? Um, are you a tough businesswoman in this rough business? I don't, I don't take so much um, notice of the money thing. Um, I'm not, it's, bo it's very boring. But I have very, um, I'm very lucky because I worked with people since I was like 16. Yes. Same people. Uh, so I can, I have, uh, I think it's called in uh, uh, common language, full artistic control. What you have. Yeah. And only very few people have this. Yeah. I think the artist formerly known as uh, Prince. Yeah. Tough Cup, he has it. Yeah. And uh, maybe George Michael mm -hmm. now and you. And maybe Madonna. Yeah, well, the thing is, I can, I can uh, write any song I want, of yes. course. 
and then I, c I can obviously work yes. with anybody I want. And then when I start, for example, writing my songs, yeah. there is no master plan of when it's coming out. I can just write until it, I think it's ready. And uh, yeah, with tours too and stuff. So, I mean, this is, uh, this is probably because I work with the same people since I was 16. So it's a small group of people that used to be punks. Yes. We're not very fond of the establishment. So Do punks in Iceland look like you? <laughs> you know, have you ever seen a German punk? Way I actually used to come to Berlin. Yes. When I was 16. Yeah. And I would stay in a squad with punks who were there and I think they were trying to explode up the parliament or something. Yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were busy. They, we didn't see them in the daytime. They were busy um, trying to bring down the government. Yeah, the hell. And, yeah. and um, it's time consuming. Yeah. And, and um, so I, I was, I did, I guess you could call these people punks. So we, we, we did meet them. And, and uh, I was in this band that supported Einsturz at the Neubauten. Einsturz at the Neubauten? Yeah, and you were the supporting act? Yeah. Times they are changing. <laughs>